Hi fellow jazz guitar nerds all over the world, Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. I've been playing this little guy for half my life. It's the Dunlop Jazz 3 small sized, regular small sized jazz guitar pick. And while I always loved the sound and the fact that it's so small, I never really liked the fact that it's so thin. It's 1.38 millimeters thick, which is really kind of a, a skinny thing for jazz guitar players. So uh, there's also uh, out there the Dunlop um, Altex, it's called, but I never really played it. It's two millimeters and it's the same size. It's like it's sibling, but it sounds so damn bright. I really don't like it. So I'm not gonna shoot out, uh, shoot it out in this video. Not gonna compare it. Um, I've been looking for alternatives and um, this is what I came up with. Candidate number one is the Timber Tones Jazzy Tones Bone Pick. Candidate number two, Ernie Ball Prodigy Mini, two millimeters. Number three are the Gravity Picks, Sunrise Mini, three millimeters, and the Trip Mini, three millimeters. Contestant number four, Chicken Picks Badass, three, two millimeters. And last but not least, the Dunlop Prime Tone 3mm SM. At the end of the video, you'll hear a direct sound comparison between each of the picks and the original Dunlop Jazz 3 pick. And by the way, I do not have any affiliation or endorsement deal with any of the uh, pick uh, manufacturers going on. So this is all unbiased, my subjective taste. The Timber Tones Jazzy Tones Bone Pick is made from Vietnamese water buffalo bone. It's a little wider and a little longer than the original Jazz 3 Dunlop. Its tip is a bit pointier. There is no curvature at the sides or just a little. It has smooth edges. It's 2.2 millimeters thick and it's around $5 or 4 euros per pick and it comes in different colors. The Tone Bones feels pretty good in my hand. It feels a lot thicker than it is actually. It's 2.2 millimeters. Actually, it feels like a three millimeter pick. Anyway, let's uh, test its sound. Uh-huh. Oh, no. This is, first of all, the upper strings sound a little dull compared to this one. And when I go to the lower strings, depending on how you hold your pick, string noise. No string noise or less. Hear that? More vibrant. This is a little dull and I don't know and, and it scratches the bass strings. It does that and also on the uh, on the on the flat wound strings because I tested it already. So anyway, I don't think this is my cup of tea, but let's test the strumming sound. Uh, I rotate it sideways so I get the not so pointy uh, tip and let's strum a bit. <laughs> okay. I mean, it doesn't sound great, but that's okay. But for solo playing, nah, not so much. Let's check out the next one. The Ernie Ball Prodigy Mini 2mm pick has almost the identical shape and curvature as the uh, Dunlop Jazz 3 pick. It's just a little thicker. It has 2mm 
and it's made from durable dendril material. It has beveled smooth edges and it comes in six packs and costs ten dollars or nine euros. The Ernie Ball lies in my hand, in my fingers, perfectly fine because it has actually the same shape as the Dunlop. So let's check its sound. Dunlop. Oops. That sounds very similar, I would say, and it feels very similar, so I'm, I'm good with that. Nothing spectacular. Yeah, sounds the same. Let's turn it sideways, and um, actually, this is rounder. The side tip is a lot rounder than this one. So, um, Let's check if it makes a difference on uh, strumming. A tiny, tiny little bit. Sounds a tiny little bit darker. At least that's the feeling I get. But actually it feels almost identical and it plays identical just that it's a little fatter, just what I wanted, so um, this is already something I pretty like. The gravity picks are made from acrylic resin and they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. If you go to their website, you'll see that they are highly customizable. They come in different sizes, shapes, thickness is 1.5 millimeters, two millimeters, and we're gonna test the three millimeter versions. And they are $5 or six to seven euros each that you also can choose uh, between different, uh, I'm gonna show you that in close up in a second, uh, uh, pit, uh, the holes, grip holes, and also whether they have uh, smooth or rough edges. Okay, let's take a look at them. The Gravity Pick Sunrise 3mm Mini is a tad wider. It's straight, almost no curvature at the sides, and the tip is a lot pointier, or at least feels a lot pointier, than the original Dunlop Jazz 3. I chose grip holes and smooth edges. So the Sunrise feels pretty good. It's, yeah has the grip holes and the grip holes don't really do much for me. I would have to hold the picks so tight that I even feel them. So I don't do that. I hold my picks loosely. So the grip holes are just nice extra, but doesn't help me. It's slippery anyway, and all the picks that I play are slippery. So it <laughs> doesn't make uh, any difference to me. So let's hear the sound. pretty loud I think. Let's compare it. Yeah. <laughs> oh this is loud and brilliant. This cuts through the mix in the band I could imagine really good because it has the, those um, high mid frequency called presence or presence. And um, if you have a dull sound sounding guitar, or if you never heard in, in, in your band, this might be the pick for you. There's also no scratch noise because it's just the acrylic thing, doesn't scratch at all. Here. No scratch noise whatsoever. So this is pretty good. Let's drum with it. Okay. I like
like the Dunlop better here because this one, uh, the Sunrise, has so many mid frequencies for the solo player uh, that it actually, it's too many mids for strumming for me. I like the, the higher frequencies better when I strum. So also, I tend to get stuck in between strings with that uh, pointy uh, tip. Um. Yeah, it's okay if you get used to it. But this one... Yeah, I think it's just you have to get used to it. And actually, it's not that pointy. It just, you know, it adds up that it's also that fat. Three millimeters and very pointy. Um, you might get stuck between strings, but that's a matter of uh, practicing, training. All right, uh, very loud pick. I like it very much, but I think it's better for solo and not as much as for, uh, not as good for strumming. The Gravity Pick Strip 3mm Mini has three different tips. A pointy one, a less pointy one, and a real round one. I chose no grip holes for this one. Its top edge is straight again, like the classic one, and has no curvature. Let's start with the uh, pointy one. The pointy one is not, actually it is as pointy as the Sunrise. Don't know if you guys can see this but the curvature is different. So the Sunrise uh, has a straight, almost straight curvature here, while the trip is a little rounder. Thus, it, uh, the, the, the tip is n doesn't feel as pointy. Okay, let's try it. Oh, it has a lot of cloing cloing in the height end. Can you hear that? Let's compare it to the Sunrise. Yeah, it has it too, but this has more mids. The, the Sunrise has more mids. But it's very, very similar. Some of the things, again, come from acoustically, from the guitar direct, and can maybe not be heard over the microphone. For strumming, I would use, uh, well, both sides are good, but let's use the really round one. Compared to the Dunlop. Well, again, this is very mid, heavy, heavy mids, and not so for my biased uh, taste. Uh, it's uh, two mid, heavy mids on this one, so I prefer the other one. But this is very versatile, and that's what I like about this pick. You have to get used to uh, rotating it and also being aware of what, of what tip you're currently using. That's not as easy, especially since there is no difference between the two uh, sides. Well, you feel the engraving a bit on one side, but you have to be aware of what uh, tip you're using currently. So that's a little confusing, but it's very versatile and also, I like it. The Chicken Pig's Badass 3 2 mm is quite a bit larger than the Jazz 3. It's made from thermosetting plastic and very durable. It has very pointy tips, actually all three sides. It's beveled and it's available in 2 mm and 2.5 mm. And the price is about $13 for a two pack. So the badass feels pretty good. Yep, it's a little little larger actually in the hand, but feels pretty good. I can definitely feel the uh, rough edge here. So let's try the sound. Ooh, this is rough. Oh. A lot of scratch, string noise again. This sounds very rough. Let's compare it. Ah, if you hold it just a little in uh, at an angle, you get all that 
So you need to hold it really straight. I'm gonna try to do that. I can't do that. Especially when I play faster, I go like this. So, um, oh, I don't know. Let's hear the, um, let's hear the other side. But this is almost as pointy as the main tip. This is very rough. Okay, this pick and I are not gonna get friends at, in jazz music. Uh, this is a great pick, I think, maybe for bassier sounds, power chords. Yeah. Some blue stuff, it has a real, a lot of punch and power in the tech, but not the kind of smooth attack like on the uh, Sunrise it was but really crispy, bright sounding, and uh, too rough for my taste. So um, I would consider this not even a jazz pick, my personal biased opinion, um, uh, but rather than a, a, rather a rock or blues pick. All right, let's check the last one. The Dunlop Primetone 3mm SM is less white than the Jazz 3. It has a pointy tip and heavily curved sides. It also has a concave thumb grip and it costs $9 for three pieces. So the prime tone is really narrow and the feel is not good for me. I kind of, it kind of rotates by itself in my hand. And you know, I don't like that narrow. I mean, I like small picks but they need to have a little something to stick on, like some width, you know, this, I don't know. Let's, let's hear the uh, sound. Oh, noise. Very nice. It has some good volume in the bass strings. precise in the bass strings, no scratch noise. Yeah. And um, punchy for the bass. The, the high frequencies, I think they sound a little darker, but very, maybe lower mids. It's almost the same, actually. It depends on how you pick. Yeah, it's maybe a tad darker. And um, actually, that's a great sounding pick, especially for the lower strings. I really can't get a good grip, even with that concave uh, thumb, what you call it, thumb, not whole, but whatever. Yep, that was it. And let's now hear the direct comparison of all picks compared to the uh, Dunlop 3. Thank you. 
winner is dum da da dum the Ernie Ball Prodigy. Why? Here's my conclusion. It plays and feels almost exactly the same as the original Jim Dunlop Jazz 3. And I just don't want to get used to something new. I've been playing this thing for 15 to 20 years, and I think I'm going to use this one now because it's just the same thing, but a little fatter. It has a good lead sound. It has a little rounder curvature at the side for rhythm playing, and I really like that. And um, so this is my personal winner, but I have a second winner, and that's the trip. Here it is. The uh, Gravity Picks trip with the three uh, different uh, tips. And what I like about that, it's versatile. Use the pointy tip for solo guitar. If you don't like it as pointy, use the regular tip. And for uh, your rhythm stuff, you just use the uh, rounded tr uh, tip of the trip. This I'm going to use a lot now to get used to it because I think it's great to just uh, turn your pick and have a great uh, rhythm pick. Maybe a little too many mids, so my all-time favorite uh, of this test, at least, is the uh, Prodigy by Ernie Ball. Now, which one did you like best and which is your favorite jazz guitar pick? Please let me know what else you like, what you prefer, and why, and put, put it in a comment section below, below. Okay, I'll see you next week, and greetings. Ciao, ciao.